your field with positive and happy energy today i decided to talk about one of those long never ending and keep growing to do lists that we all kind of end up experiencing at some point in our lives and because i work with a lot of women and i witness people not only women people who really want to do something accomplish something create something and do something that they really like to do but they don't have the time to do i decided to record this video and uh, to fix this problem study shows that to-do lists do not work for human beings because as human our brains are designed to do the things that we accomplish faster and we feel rewarded because it's done, it's accomplished, and now we feel rewarded. For that reason, when we have a to-do list, we only pick the things that we can do faster, we can get over with, accomplish, and become happy from doing it. And after we feel accomplished, we're less likely to move on to the next one, especially if the next one is one of those hard and time-consuming ones. So now a proven accomplishment method which replaced to-do list is called time box and time box is a great method which i personally use in my own business is in and in my own personal life which helps me a lot and i try to recommend it to all my clients who are having difficulties accomplishing their tasks so this is how a time box works you start with writing everything that you have in mind on a piece of paper. So it's called a brain dump and you write down all the tasks and all the things that you have in mind, which are supposed to be done in a later date. All the to-do list basically that you have. And the purpose of this brain dump is to release your mind and decompress your mind and basically free up some space in your mind so you don't have the brain occupied with all the things that you have to do in the future and then every morning before you start your day you bring your brain dump paper with you and you start by writing your daily schedule and you have to give every task a time slot so how it works is that uh for example today in the morning my days start at 9 a.m I start writing my schedule at 8.30. I give myself 20 minutes. After that 20 minutes, I, uh, take, to, I take a 10 minutes meditation time and I start my day at 9 a.m. So this morning, uh, the, I had a client at 11 a.m. So I had from 9 to 11. And the way that I do my daily schedule is that every two hours, I give myself a 15 minutes time to stretch, to move around, move my body. This way, this is one of my methods to keep my energy level up. So the way that I've done it this morning was that uh, from 9 to 10 a.m. I write and from 10 to 10, 15, I move around, I move my body and I stretch. From 10, 15 to 10, 45, I reviewed my um, yoga instruction class that I took and from 10, 45, 10.55, I prepared for my client and at 11 o'clock, I spoke to my client. So this is how I schedule all day, every day. And this is the best method for me so far. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some tips and uh, notes that you need to really know about using this time box method. Number one, keep your brain dump paper all the time with you. I have a notebook, which is my brain dump notebook, and I always have it with me because I have it right beside my laptop. Because you know when you're working and you're on the time box and you have to finish a task within a certain amount of time, that's the best thing and you will do it, you will complete it, and it's amazing. But there is one problem because as human, we keep thinking and all the thoughts keep coming into our mind all the time. And those are the things that might distract us. So the first thing that I do is that I keep that brain dump notebook right beside me and everything that comes to, to my mind, I write it down. For example, I'm working on my writings or I'm working on whatever that I do. And I start thinking that I'm really interested to see what's happening in uh, someone's profile on Instagram. And I write it on my brain dump paper. I write down 
to remember to go and check her profile. The second tip that I have for you is that do not compress your time because when I tell my clients to do this time box method, they go home and they want to pressure and push and add things in one hour to do like three tasks in one hour. Whereas one of them take them one hour to do and that way you're setting up yourself for failure so try to lower your expectations from yourself try to add the things into your list and be realistic and if you feel like you need an hour to do something give yourself one hour and 10 minutes 10 minutes extra to do it don't give yourself less time give yourself more time than what you think you need to finish a task and tip number three is that mix and match all the tasks on your daily list for example if you have something that you really don't want to do and it's so time consuming and it's something that you truly don't want to do for example you want to um, ask a question from someone who you really don't want to talk to or uh, you want to send an email that you're not even interested to sit down and type that email or you want to post uh, whatever listing on Kijiji but you don't want to do it because it's not interesting to you try to bring those inside your daily to-do list so mix and match write the things that you like to do and write the things that you don't like to do and mix them for example if you're doing something that you really like to do from 10 to 11 now add something from 11 to 12 that you really don't like to do but you have to do and then again from 12 to 1 add the thing that you really like to do and then don't forget those 10 minutes of stretch and moving around times for yourself in between um, so this way you're gonna get everything done but um, you're gonna stay motivated and inspired and you'll just do them before you notice so now for the people who really want to do some things that they always say we don't have the time to do now you have the time because as soon as you start writing your schedule down you can dedicate an hour two hours half an hour to the thing that you really want to do it another note that i have is that if you have any podcast any audiobooks anything that you want to listen to what i do is that at five o'clock, I usually finish my work and I start cooking, getting ready for my husband to come home. And from five to six, that's the time for me to listen to my podcasts and audiobooks and all the YouTube videos that I want to watch. So try to organize your schedule based on your life and use that free time while you're cooking, cleaning to listen to your podcast or audiobook. And that's going to help you do all the things that you want to do on your daily schedule. I hope you guys like this video. If you do like this time box method and if you think it's gonna work for you, do some more research on it. And if you have any more questions, make sure you ask me the question and I'm gonna try to help you with the questions. You can leave your questions in the comments here. If you do like my video, please press that like button so that I get more energy from you guys to record my more video to give you guys more energy. And also, if you really like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I would love to see you as a part of my tribe. And as soon as I see more subscribers, I get more energy to record more videos to give you guys more energy. I wish you guys a beautiful day filled with joy, happiness, positivity, laughter, accomplishment, and everything that you can have to live a happy life. Take care and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.